What's up, everyone? Welcome to Bill Bruns and Dragons. I'm your host, Bill Brun Bafflestone. So let's talk about planar binding. I'm a player that loves summoning, which means I love planar binding. But it is a complex spell with some nuance to it, so let's break it down. I put a description of the spell on the screen, and there are four leverage points that I want to call out. First of all, it does have a casting time of one hour. Most of the things that you're going to want to summon and bind are also going to have a duration of one hour. That means that you are very rarely going to be able to do this yourself. If you summon and then follow it up with a planar binding the next round, that just means the summon is going to disappear six seconds before the planar binding sticks. To overcome this, you are going to need to either involve another person or have metamagic extend a spell available. The next thing I want to point out is that it has a duration of 24 hours. That's pretty good for a 5th level spell, but look at the bottom. We can upcast this. At 6th level, it lasts for 10 days. At 7th level, 30 days. At 8th level, 180 days. And at 9th level, a year and a day. That is a long time to have a really powerful pet at your beck and command. It has to do everything that you say, so that's really good. The next thing I want to point out is that the target of the spell does get a charisma saving throw at the end of it, but you can mitigate this with portent or chronal shift or various other game mechanics. And finally, note that you can bind a celestial, an, an elemental, a fey, or a fiend. And some people think that you can use Nystil's magic aura to bind anything, constructs, monstrosities, beasts, what have you, but I don't read it that way. Nysil's magic aura affects divinations, and this is an abjuration. So I don't see that you can do it, but apparently this is a somewhat contentious issue in this game, so ask your DM. Regardless, planar binding is amazing, summoning is amazing, so get your summon on.